Oh. Hi, Graham. Um, you know, today was difficult, obviously, but you had a lot of fitness issues to manage before the game and during the game. Do you think that sort of impacted the result? Well, it doesn't make it any easier, uh, losing Ruben when we did, and then um, Aspi was also struggling a little bit, so uh, we had to take him off at half-time. It doesn't make it easier playing against a team that is in a really good moment, with playing with you know huge intensity, and um, and whilst I thought the first half was relatively even, um, they start the second half better than us, and uh, we had to adjust a little bit, thought we did that. Connor had a, an, an opportunity, pulled off a, I think Pope made a good save, but then uh, Newcastle scored, we had to um, push again. I don't think we, we had too many enforced errors, I think, to, to maintain any real quality and any real pressure. But again, credit to Newcastle, they're, they're, they're playing well, they're, they're in a really good moment and um, you can see probably the difference between the schedules in terms of one game a week versus the, the intense period that we've had. Fun here. Did it concern you, Graham, that perhaps as an attacking force you didn't really get going until you, you went behind? Would that be fair? Well, uh, I, as I said, I, I thought we had some opportunities, lacked too many unforced errors. I thought we, 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 we got into some spaces quite well, but then a, a, a sloppy pass that isn't normally like us. I think that's. I have to defend the players in terms of fatigue, in terms of what they've had to deal with. But. Um, Newcastle don't make it easy for you. You can see they're, I think they're one of the best teams defensively in, in the Premier League. So, again, um, credit to the opponent for that. But, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it was a tough game for us. Yeah, um, as you say, about a horrible schedule, how do you plan on using the, the break? Is it a chance to reset and, and collect on the people? Well, yeah, we have to use it in that way. Uh, a lot of the players go away. So we'll only have uh, four or five with us. But obviously, we have to hope that the guys that come away go away, uh, come back in a good place, in a, in a, in a healthy. And we hope that we can get a few of the guys back as well, and um, and then yeah, re work, re-energize, refocus, and 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 go again for the second half of the season. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 not nice to to not get results. It's as simple as that. Um, but I have to look at the why that is, and and look at the the situation that we've had, the situation that we've had to deal with. It hasn't been uh, straightforward at all. We've we've uh, again had a lot of games, uh, a few injuries to key players that have destabilised us. Um, today again, you see the couple that we've missing. So we've just had a period that's been incredibly challenging. And as I said before, you face probably four of the teams that are in the best moment in the Premier League in terms of a version of themselves, and that can challenge you as well. So we have to, as much as you can't accept it, you have to deal with it and, and try to move forward. OK, any more? Just in terms of the little run that you're on, obviously the injuries, do you think that the break has become at the right time? Well, we have to see it in that way. I mean, we can't do anything about it. We have to use it as a positive. And uh, as I said, we'll, we'll have a couple of players back. We can use the time to to re refocus, um, reflect, and get ready for the second half of the season. A lot of football to play, uh, a lot of learning to, that's happened over the last eight weeks. I think it is. Um, but yeah, we, the, the break we'll have to use as positive as we can. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Thank you.